That reminds me of another thing. The difference between a propane refrigerator and an electric refrigerator is astounding. The theoretical uh, amount of energy used for an absorption type system about a 10 cubic foot propane refrigerator is 0.375 gallons of propane a day. Now if you calculate that out for a 31 day period at a dollar eighty a gallon which is pretty cheap that comes out to twenty dollars and ninety two cents a month it, just for refrigeration twenty dollars a month bigger refrigerator is going to take more energy than that most people don't want to live out of a ten cubic foot so between twenty and thirty dollars a month at today's propane prices that's a huge commitment now think long term grid down what happens if you can't get propane anymore now about your propane refrigeration ideas seem to be lacking I would say it's not something that we can do indefinitely but if you get a good refrigerator now uh, Sundancer and, and uh, Sunfrost there's a couple brands like that that uh, or you can put a Grunfoss compressor in any chest freezer a 24 volt Grunfoss compressor would convert a chest freezer to a chest refrigerator there's a lot of inexpensive ways to do it. You don't have to spend $1,600 to do it. Uh, for instance, what we did is we just took a chest uh, freezer and changed the thermostat out, and it just runs with the inverter. Now, it's nowhere near as efficient. It's just going straight DC. But at the cost, I built a chest refrigerator, an 8 cubic foot, for $95 on Craigslist and $12 on eBay for the controller and it took about an hour to hack the thing and now it's a refrigerator or a freezer at the push of a button and no it's not as efficient as a straight DC model but it didn't cost $1500 either in fact just put in one extra solar panel at today's price is a dollar a watt that's way cheaper than spending uh, $1500 for a Sundancer anyway that's just my thoughts on it but going with a propane refrigerator long term is very costly twenty dollars a month minimum that's a huge deal so I would definitely consider doing yours on solar uh, solar doesn't have mechanical parts that are going to break down if you get good equipment you're not going to have to mess with it and if you've got uh, you know the one part that does wear out that is a cost factor is batteries don't last forever but I would say that replacing your batteries every 8 to 12 years the batteries that are being used for that refrigeration unit uh, aren't going to cost $20 a month uh, so I can calculate that out